confusion to straight people, which would be a sin according to the Bible verse you quoted. That, among other sins, is wrong, and he says, of which some of you were that type of person. Right. They were homosexual because they chose to be it. They, they left their natural use of man with woman to be gay. It was a choice of theirs. All the Bible is condemning is the choice of your sexuality, not how you were born. I just wanted to put this out there because I get uh, emails here on YouTube, people calling me not very nice names. And not very nice names. Now, I never tell people to go out and make fun of others, and but I'm, I'm sure some of the not very nice names they called you were pretty justified. Um, bigot being one of them. You're obviously a bigot. You can't deny that. Um, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going to go into some insult here, some insults here. Um, but there are plenty of names I would feel justified to call you. Um, especially because I, I consider, um, fundamentalist Christians who say being gay is wrong, gay haters. I consider them on the same level as someone who, someone in the KKK. I mean, truthfully, I see them on the same level because they're the same disgusting people to me. People who say black people are, are dirt and black people are worth nothing is the same as saying gay people shouldn't have rights and gay people uh, chose to be that way and gay people are sinners and gay people go to hell. I see them on the same level. To me, they're the same it's the same beliefs, really. It's just a different group of people they're deciding to discriminate against. So I'm sure the names they're calling you are justified. And uh, completely justified because you're so bigoted against a group of people and you don't even understand the, the, the um, things, the discrimination you do to them. It's, it's horrible what you support. And I'm sure future generations will see that. And I'm sure 25, 30 years that people who think gay marriage should be illegal are going to be seen on the same level as people 30 years ago who thought that interracial marriage should be illegal. Nowadays, we think of those people as racists. And in 30 years, you'll be seen the same way. Saying, I was born this way, and you have no right to tell me otherwise. Well, we all have the ability to free speak as of right now on our land and my free oh it's funny how you 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 sound like you're insinuating that um we're not going to have freedom of speech soon like as of right now we have freedom of speech as if we're not going to in the future speaking today i wanted to just say that i do not believe that one is given a gift from god to be gay or is born gay in the same way that I do not believe that one is born an alcoholic, born a drug addict, born... Incomparable things. There's no way you can compare the homosexuality and an alcoholic or a drug addict. You can't compare the two. There's absolutely no way you can compare the two. The only way you've justified your beliefs is with an, is with an abstract Bible verse that I've already disproven. So your beliefs are unjustified. And, and, of course, this is assuming that the Bible even holds any weight. I mean, why can't you justify your hate to gay people without using the Bible? I mean, I don't say murder is wrong because the Bible says so. I say murder is wrong because there are consequences to murder. I, I wouldn't want to be murdered. I don't think it's, you know, th there are reasons why murder is wrong besides the Bible. There are no reasons why being gay is wrong besides the Bible. And if there are, please present them to me, because I've seen none. You, you can't just believe something because the Bible says it. I mean, even if you believe the whole Bible is the Word of God, shouldn't you try to justify your beliefs with something other than the Bible then? And if you can't, then why do you believe the Bible? A person that's addicted to pornography, born, so on and so forth. Certain things can be passed on through heredity. You just contradicted yourself within five seconds. People aren't born gay. But it can be passed on through hereditary, through heredity. Seriously? Do you not understand the contradiction in those two statements? Seriously. Like uh, 
anger and violence and so on. You're comparing violence to loving another human being? Do you really think those two things are comparable? Really? Those two things are completely incomparable. Violence has consequences. Homosexuality has absolutely no consequences or effects on you or me. It doesn't matter to me if someone is homosexual. It matters to me if someone is violent. Because that violence could affect me. Someone could be violent towards me. But homosexuality has no effect on me. So there, it's incomparable. On and so forth. But God does not cause one to be born gay or any of the other things that we would consider sin. Let me know what... Define we. That we would consider sin, as in you and me, or as in you would consider sin. Because it's your beliefs we're talking about here. We're not talking about we as in a group. Like, define we. I mean, are you talking to your church here? Because I bet not even your entire church agrees with you. I know that not everyone at the church I go is, well, I guess the church I go to um, sometimes, don't always go to it, um, doesn't condemn homosexuality. They're totally fine with it because they explain that the Bible verses used to condemn homosexuality are interpreted wrong by people and they're interpreted out of um, the original translation. So I don't define we. Don't just use terms like we. Like when I'm making a video, I don't say we believe all this. I say I believe this. So don't use we. It doesn't really work in your videos. You think, and I really appreciate you watching this video. And always remember that if you're a born-again believer, a child of God, chosen before the foundation of the world, God. Chosen? I'll make a video about choosing people later. Um, yeah, I shouldn't even go into that now. It would take me a while to explain. But God chooses people to go to heaven, and he chooses people to go to hell. That's a loving God for you. Who began a great work in you is going to complete it. God bless. Well, that's my rebuttal to Pastor Juror 777. And I challenge you um, to respond to this video. And we can have an open dialogue about the topic. We can even use the Bible. I'll accept your Bible as a source. I'll even refute your Bible to you. So come on, re respond to this video. We'll, we'll see how this goes. So this is an open challenge to you. You can accept or decline it. Let me know. I'll see you guys later.